Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Oh my god, what? It's been like, what, like two months? Um, so today I'm going to be showing you how I did this beautiful lilac color. Oh, perfect for spring. Oh my god, I love it so much. So if you're interested in how I did this makeup tutorial, then stay tuned. Okay, so my skin is like dying for hydration. Uh, I'm going to be using my embryo. Look at my spot! Look at it! Uh. I'm going to be using my Embryo Lease um, face cream, and this is like the perfect face moisturizer for under your makeup. I'm just going to apply that all over my skin. Next, I'm going to be grooming my brows, and um, yeah, I'm going to, I have a tutorial on how I do my brows, so if you're interested in that, check out the link down in the description box and I'll show you how I do my brows, but just to speed up the process, we're gonna go straight into it. Next, I'm going to um, prime my eyelids and I'm gonna be a little uh, spontaneous and use Soft Ochre by MAC. If you watch my videos, you know I'm being sarcastic because this is like the only eyeshadow primer I pick up. Um, I'm gonna be using my, oh, this beautiful Morphe palette and I'm gonna be using this lilac color and all the colors I'm, are matte, I believe, in this eyeshadow. Now, it's gonna kinda look orange on my eyelid, but it is lilac. I think there was orange left over from the previous eyeshadow look I did, but that's okay. I'm building this color so much that you're not even going to see it. So I'm just going to focus on applying this eyeshadow on the outer corner of my crease and then dragging that in down into my crease. Um, and then I'm also going to put this eyeshadow on the inner corners of my crease. So I'm going to leave my lids alone and just drag it on the outside and the inside of my crease. And I'm building, just adding more eyeshadow. The more you build, the stronger the eyeshadow will show up on your skin. So I'm just applying layers and layers of the same lilac color. Now blending is key. The next thing I'm going to do is go in with my MAC eyeshadow in the color Yogurt, which is like a really, 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 really soft lilac matte color. It's almost cream. Um, and I'm just going to pack this onto my eyelid. This is going to work as a base for the eyeshadow that I'm going to be using on top. And it also really, it's a good neutralizer. Next, I'm going in with this beautiful matte blue color. Now, it won't show up blue on my eye. It will just enhance the purple and make it look more lilac-y, um, which I think is so beautiful. It complements the purple so nicely. So I'm gonna focus on applying this on my inner corner and my outer corner, kind of creating like a halo to my lid. Now with a clean brush, I'm going to just blend everything out, blend it down my crease and making sure that everything is kind of smooth and there's no harsh transition. Well, there's a softer transition. And then I'm going to go back and just pack on some more of that blue. Next, I'm using this beautiful shimmery um, purple lilac color on top of my um, yogurt eyeshadow I applied. And I'm just going to apply this strictly on my lid and I'm just going to pack it on. I love this color. It kind of looks like lilac like just exploded it just is so pretty and I primed my bottom lash line and I'm gonna go in with that same first matte blue I'm um, sorry matte lilac color and just drag this down the bottom of my la my lash line next I'm gonna be using this amazing Lancome um, foundation primer and it literally erases your pores like you could even see on camera my skin just looks better as soon as I put it on um, I'm gonna be using this just to erase my pores <laughs> will attempt to. I'm gonna go in with my MAC Prep and Prime and I'm going to correct my dark circles. Now this is like my favorite go-to under eye corrector. If I don't use this I look like I have massive dark circles even under my foundation and concealer. So I'm just gonna apply this on the outer corners of my mouth and under my eyes. Oh you guys need to get this brush. This brush is amazing. This is the Morphe um, M439 brush, and I'm going to use this to just buff out the corrector. <laughs> now, once you look like this, <laughs> you're going to go in with your foundation. I'm going to be using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, and this is probably one of my favorite foundations ever. I'm going to be, I'm in the color Cashew. 
Um, so yeah, I'm just going to use the same brush that I used to buff out the corrector and I'm just going to buff it into my skin. This brush is so soft and it's super affordable. If you need a really good foundation brush, you need to get yourself a M439 Morphe brush. Girl, don't play no games. Just blending this into my skin. Now, just to diffuse and lighten the foundation, I'm just gonna go over my face with a damp beauty blender. Next, I'm using my absolute favorite concealer. This is the MAC um, Studio Finish Concealer, and I'm in this shade NC42. Now, I don't know if it's the thickness of this concealer or, or the shade. I think this, the, the shade literally erases my dark circles. Like, it's the perfect peachy concealer for my dark circles. I love it. Now I'm going to add warmth to my face and I'm going to be using the Milani Cream to Powder Foundation in Spiced Almond. And I'm just applying this as a contour and a bronzer, just warming up the outer corners of my face. Using that same beauty blender, I'm just going to make sure it's all blended out. Now I'm going to bake, but I'm just going to bake and focus on the inner corner, sorry, the center of my face, just because I wanna maintain the dewiness on the outer surface of my face. <laughs> um, how many times have I said face? So yeah, I'm just gonna bake and make sure nothing creases throughout the day, but I'm gonna avoid applying this on the outer section. Just chisel out those cheeks. Well, yeah. Now I'm gonna go in with contouring and I think I think I'm gonna do a tutorial on how I contour my nose. <laughs> Ratchet. Um, just because uh, it's super easy and you contour in different ways based on your nose shape, so I think I'm gonna do a tutorial on that. Now I'm just dusting off the translucent powder and I'm gonna go in with Becca's Backlight Primer. And this is a foundation primer, but it's really dewy and it has like a radiance to it. I'm gonna apply this on my cheekbones just to add moisture so the highlighter I put on top holds on to something because I do want to maintain that dewy slash matte look mixture of both yes I'm gonna go in with my glow kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm gonna be using the bottom color which is bubbly to be honest I only use the, the two bottom colors I don't really go in for the top two colors but yeah Next, I'm going to go in with Max Blush in Blush Baby, which is a very sheer um, blush. It kind of just adds youthfulness. It's like a youthful color. <laughs> very creative, Manel. Next, I'm going in with the best mascara ever, which is the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in Carbon Black. And I'm going to be using the Sephora Collection Long Lasting 12 Hour Eyeliner, Liquid Eyeliner. And um, it's some good stuff. This is the felt tip one, not the high precision. I like the high precision better, better, but better, but um, I just couldn't find it. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> I actually got these lashes months, months ago, and I completely forgot about them. They're the Pinky Goat lashes in Samantha. I wore them to an event last week, and everybody was like, "What lashes are those?" I absolutely love them. They're probably my new favorite. You need to get yourself some. Um, so yeah, I'm just using this and it's very fluttery and, and like pretty. I'm gonna go in with Max Cork Lip Liner and I'm just going to add this to as a lip liner and then kind of drag it into the outer corners of my lips. husband's giving me lip I gotta cuss him back next I'm using the NYX soft matte lip cream in London now this lip cream is like super super nude um, because of the cork lip liner it does look brownie nude but it's actually like very nude so you do have to pair it with a darker lip liner if you're like a medium to dark complexion definitely okay guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial that is it 
Um, I, I think this is like my absolute favorite tutorial I have ever done. It's so beautiful. And if you don't know, I've launched my clothing line slash um, scarf collection and it's coming. I came up with five beautiful scarves um, and this is one of them. This is Lanai. It's absolutely gorgeous. It matches everyone's skin tone. And it's basically a must have. Check it out. I put the link down to my shop in the description box. And honestly, they're like the perfect colors that you need in your closet the materials beautiful luxury Georgette and I'm just so proud of it so go check it out shop and let me know if you have any questions I will put the link down in the description box I just love this color I love it so much it's just absolutely flawless thanks for watching guys bye